I just wanted to catch this moment on film because what's happening in my heart right now is an overwhelming awe of gratitude for the fact that I'm about to step into teaching a body of work that has been the most precious gift in my life, contact improvisation. And I've been teaching for about 20 years, but never truly focusing 100% on this art form. And in this moment, I was moved to share this, to record this, to capture this because I've had a lot of excitement about teaching the different things that I've taught in my life, in particular, the experiments in communal play. I would just get so lit up and enthused. But what's happening right now within me, I'm not even sure if I know how to describe it. It's like, I feel a never ending well of what I could teach. And an incredible feeling of um, like arrival. Like a, the layers of steps that I've taken as an embodiment guide over the decades have really just been leading me, not just, have been purposefully leading me to this moment. And it's so interesting to be, you know, opening this gateway for focusing on, and I, I have a weekly contact improvisation class that's starting today here in Puna, Lower Puna, Big Island. And um, I can feel that there is going to be what I've been calling for, a consistent, dedicated, committed group, group of people who really want to dive into learning this art form as a way of life, as a lens for understanding our, ourselves and our relationship with ourselves, our relationship with the earth, which means the very force that provides everything for us and being in reciprocity and reunion with that. And that this art form over the years from all of the teachers that I've studied with, every single one of them in their own unique way have used this art form as a way for guiding people to find their own direct connection to what is most important to them. And they all, they meaning all of the wonderful teachers that I have had the pleasure of studying contact improvisation with over the years, all of them, without it ever being named anywhere, that this was how it was going to be done in, in, in our world, in our contact improvisation world. How do I want to say this? There was never any dialogue around specific spiritual paths that the form, the physicality of the form and the natural laws that govern the universe that we're working with when we're working with the physical practice of contact improvisation is the thing that is teaching each person about their own direct connection to life. And I don't know why, that just touches me so deeply that there's, it's a like dogma free arena as well as a certification free arena. <laughs> Obviously you can see, I get a little aroused there. I've my whole life been um, very resistant to all of these certification processes. And now I need a teacher training in this and a paper that says I know how to do this. And I have some of those papers. Um, but not very many. Uh, and I just love that contact improvisation held that, that value and that it was set up from the originating founders that 
Uh, it was not a codified, I think is the name that you would use. There is not a paper to receive that you are now a certified teacher. And I just, I respect that so much. It, it um, requires a massive amount of trust in the whole, in the unit that is continually growing. And by the way, we are about to reach the 50 year anniversary of this art form started by Steve Paxton. Thank you so much. And I just want to honor um, <laughs> the beauty of my two mentors that enriched my life's my life in miraculous ways, Nancy Stark Smith and Kathleen Armistar, both of who passed in the last year. Both it was quite young. And um, I feel you, I feel you on my back. Thank you. Thank you for supporting me to step forward at this time when everything else would say, this is not the time when you teach contact improvisation. Yes, it is. This is when we need to know our embodiment, our strength of our architecture, our attunement with our emotions, our ability to speak and with our body command boundaries and with our beautiful ability to create spirals and spherical nature in our form and with that we become these holographic whirling dervishes morphine energy transmuting energy being in right creation and in our in our sovereignty of what comes into our space and what rolls right on out. So hap if you happen to live on Big Island, Hawaii, and you're healthy, and you feel safe, and you feel ready to drop into this Friday container that I'll be holding every Friday, four to six at Sundari Gardens, you are most welcome to join us. I love you. I bless you. And so it is.